Hey, I'm Elliot, and this is the Everything Elliot YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to like and subscribe below. So in today's video, uh, we're going to be working on this 2005, 2006 or 7 uh, Articat ATV. It's got some carburetor issues, so we are going to be taking the carburetor out and cleaning it. And my buddy Josh over here today. We've already started taking it apart, simply just taking the seat off and taking the side panels off. So uh, there are only two clamps holding in the carburetor. You just have to take those out. Little, uh, little clamps. You can see them. There's one right there that's already loose. And then there's another one back here that's already loose. So we're just gonna get that, uh, this air box off here and pull that carburetor out of the side and then disconnect all the uh, other lines. So to disconnect the uh, throttle right here, you just take a small Phillips head off and then uh, you push this forward. I know it's tough to see. Push this forward and this little thing fits right inside there. So you just got to maneuver it and pull it out. And then this is the throttle, come right out. You'll loosen these two nuts right here and then it'll come right out. Carburetor is out. That's your primer here. Good to know if you ever. Interesting design. Look how dirty that is. So I use an impact to um, shock the screws loose because if you use a Phillips head screwdriver, sometimes you just end up threading it out. When you use a little impact like that, uh, it just gives it enough shock to break it loose, and then you can finish the job with a Phillips head screwdriver. Clean that out already. The only problem with brake clean, it makes your gloves expand. It's really, really bizarre, huh?
Mm -hmm. Now, when you tighten those down, is it just full tight because they're already factory spec? No. It's usually, you go uh, all the way in and then come out one and a half turns. Well, this one, the ones inside, you just go full tight. Alright, so that's all the way out. They're all the way in. Half. One. Half. It's just so filthy in there. Did your father-in-law buy this machine brand new? No, he got it used and it came with a plow. Uh, I think he got it from Hamburg Honda. Oh, so he bought it used from a dealer though? Yeah. Gotcha. Hamburg Honda does a... Um, uh, what do they call it? It's not a commission... Consignment. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Up. It doesn't need to be uh, super cranked down. I want to make sure this thing runs before uh, we get too wild and crazy with it. So I'll just snug it up. That's snug. Okay. Yep. Stand on there all the way. Fuel line's on. Should be it, right? Um, do we want to put that clip on this so it doesn't blow out? It won't. It's not high pressure enough. I don't know, I'll try to fire it up. So Got it in uh, new control. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's, it's got no fuel in the car, so. So the carburetor's back installed, and Josh is just actually working on uh, his handlebars. Seems like the handlebar controls are a little loose. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put the plastic panels back on and take it for a ride outside to see if it works any better. Right, guys as you can see the ATV is fixed uh, seems to be running fine now so uh, thanks for watching today's video if you have any uh, suggestions on what we should be putting on my channel or you have any questions just leave a comment below thanks and have a great day